All right, gang. Hey, this week we're going to do the first part of two parts uh, of the song Jesus Just Love Chicago. That's by request. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite uh, ZZ Top song, but it's got to be one that's up there. Man, there's just so many good ones. I mean, Billy Gibbons, like Angus Young and Keith Richards, just had a knack for taking simple things and making them just super cool. <laughs> All right? So anyway, this is one of those songs. It just has a super cool vibe to it. And um, it seems like it's straight blues, and then when you try and play it, it's a little bit different. So we'll cover the chords this time. We'll do the solo uh, pretty soon, and uh, that's coming right up. Hey, as usual, if you like this, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one or two of these every single week. We'll see you in just a second where we'll do it up close, note for note. All right, gang. Uh, let's go over this note for note. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description, but I'm here to tell you, you don't need to, okay? Give, do yourself a favor, try to learn this without the tab. If all that fails, then go ahead and download the tab at the end of that, but at least give it a shot, right? It's good for you. All right, enough preaching. Second thing is the sound. Um, I find that uh, when I listen to a lot of people play ZZ Top, they have way too much gain on their amp, or they even have, worse yet, they put a distortion pedal or something like that. You don't need it, especially on this song, okay? Just you want it at sort of the edge of a breakup, okay? So if you listen here, you know, if I hit it really hard, maybe I get a little bit of breakup. But if I'm hitting normal, it's just sort of at the edge. And that way, when I play the solo, which I'll do in a different lesson, um, it's going to sound really cool. All right. So that's it for the sound. In fact, I have a gain, my gain on my amp is at like three and a half, maybe just about four. So it's, it's pretty low. All right, let's go over the song now, uh, or the chords, or the accompaniment, whatever you want to call it. Now, what I think is really cool about this song is that it's a straight blues and G. Yeah, there's an extra measure, and we'll cover that. And yeah, there's this... You know, there's that part. Um, which is a little bit different than just a straight blues and G. But for the most part, it's a blues and G. And the bass and drums are kind of playing that shuffle. Right? But the guitar is not. The guitar is playing something really smooth, and it just kind of evens everything out. It's just kind of sitting there in the background while everything else is kind of choppy, including the voice is really choppy. And the guitar just gives that such smooth continuity in there. I don't know. I think that's what does it, at least for me. All right. So we're going to do that now. The blues, basically, this is sort of like, um, you know, the uh, <laughs> dueling banjos uh, chords here. Um, where we're going from a G to a C, but we're not moving this G in the base of C, okay? So we're just like moving a couple of fingers to get it. So first we're playing a regular G. And by the way, I am emphasizing throughout here notes um, on the fourth, third, and second strings. I do have that fingered, but mostly with my right hand, I'm damping the first string. You don't have to do that, but for the most part, I want to emphasize strings two, three, and four. That stuff right there. If you do that, it's going to sound really nice. Okay, however, let's just start out with the riff here. We're playing a G chord. That's a regular G chord, right? Sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, open, 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 and first, first string, third fret. Okay, and then without lifting, on that bottom, we finger a C. So we're leaving the bass note on the 6th string 3rd fret. We're kind of not playing at all on the 5th on the string. And we're moving, from, uh, we're moving our 2nd finger from the 5th string 2nd fret to the 3rd str 4th string 2nd fret, right? That E. And on the 2nd string, we're playing the 1st fret, which is then a C triad, right? So that's just really a C with a G in the bass. But again, I'm not emphasizing that sixth string. I'm emphasizing the strings four, three, and two. Now it's the blues, right? It's rock blues. So I don't care too much if I hit it. I don't care if it's a little bit sloppy. 
it's okay in fact it's good in fact so I want it to be maybe a little bit sloppy but so you do that four times right and then you come up to here and you play uh, a C chord now you really do have to unless you do a, D t a G tuning um, you'll want to just play strings 4, 3, and 2 and play a C triad there, right? It's just like this that you all know and love, but we're only playing strings 4, 3, and 2. And now we'll hammer on, or we don't have to hammer on, but we're going to play an F chord, an F triad, which is basically on string 4, we've got 7th fret, string 3, we've got the 5th fret, string 2, we've got the 7th fret, like so. that twice and then we're back to our and we do that three times the third time is when he's going yeah or however the hell he does it it's really cool so it's an extra measure instead of two he goes three so just be aware of that okay at that point we do an A and you can do an A power chord if you want it sounds good to a C and then we do this little thing. Which is just a G chord and then again. And then that turnaround. And I'll show you that too. Alright, so just the only thing that we need to know uh, after that, right? And I'll play the whole thing kind of continuously. The only thing that we need to know is how he does that uh, beginning part. So that starts out, I'm just playing, in the actual recording there's two guitars at least, and one's playing like this. And putting a lot of vibrato on it, which is way cool, while the other one's just doing that smooth thing. Right? So, since I don't have two guitars I can play at once, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play that B flat note, uh, which is just that B flat note right here, third string, third fret, and then play the triad, which is uh, the G on the open four, three, and two strings. And I'm back with my C then. So I do that twice. Last time I played an octave below, and I just play that B flat. Again, we're bending it up just a little bit. I don't just play the, the B flat. I bend it up just a quarter step. And I do the same thing here. B flat down here is on the fifth string, first fret. So we're bending that a little bit and then playing our G chord. Right? That's what sounds good. Now coming out of the... So that one I'm playing, I'm bending up on our B flat. And instead of going down, I go up to the next G, which is an open third string. and then play the G. Okay? The last part to learn is this little turnaround, which goes like this. I do it again. I bend down on this, or I bend up just a quarter step on this B flat. And I hit my G chord, and now I play this. And that is simply this, okay? So I'm going to leave on the first uh, string my pinky, my little finger, on the third fret, and I'm going to walk down on the fourth string from the third fret, second fret, first fret, and then open, okay? So like so. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating playing the fourth string and the first.
standard blues turnaround. You hear it all the time. All right, let me play the whole thing. Now that you know it, I'm going to play the whole thing together so you can put it all together. Here we go. So... <laughs> And he went down to New Orleans Well, Jesus just left Chicago And he went down to New Orleans Yeah Etc. Well, gang, there you go. Jesus just left Chicago, ZZ Top, along with you know Nationwide and Tush and uh, Lagrange or Lagrange and uh, cheap sunglasses. Man, there's just so many that are good. I have to do more ZZ Top. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Part two coming up pretty soon, where we'll do the solo. So, hope you enjoy that one too. We'll see you on down the road.